Like, I don't know why I'm in as young Tai Chi because I just came in off the link that was on my calendar. Uh, I don't know how that became the school link. Uh, it's how, it, it, I think it remembers how you are, like the last time you logged in is all. That's how so, I always log in through my calendar. I don't know, something got inserted there. I'll have to see if I can fix it. Cause I, sometimes I leave early and I don't want to end the meeting for everybody. Um, you, you won't end the meeting unless you were um, you could assign first person in. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. But I'm so going to have to check that out because I noticed in the last class something about when I came in, it was the same thing. So, so, I'll just see. so I think, I think Mike is correct. Uh, okay. That if, if like you signed in for your class this morning yes, and you didn't sign out, Okay. And your app still thinks you're young Tai Chi Seattle. I got you. Thank so you. So you've got to I, sign now, out. That's what I, I understand that now. Thanks, Dee Dee. Okay. And that's probably the case. I didn't sign out from this morning. Yeah. Okay. okay. Not a problem. Okay. Hello, Miranda. Hello. Oh, it's four o'clock. <sighs> Wait for Cesar and then we start again. Hello, Cesar. Hi. Hi. How are you? Oh, good. How are you doing? Pretty good. Oh, that's good. All right. So it's time. Let's practice first. Let's see. Where did we go to last time? Uh, how far did we go, Nancy? Oh, we'll find, we'll remember when we get there. Uh, I think we're pushing the canoe with the current, I think. Uh, they, no, comma chases the moon. Uh -huh. Yeah, comma chases the moon. All right. Okay, prepare. Watch the next. Opening. Three rings around the moon. One, two, three. Big Dipper. Swallow skims the water. Lock and sweep. Right. That little dipper. Swallow returns to dance. Agile cat catches a mouse. Phoenix lifts its head. Wasp enters the cave. Phoenix opens right wing. Little Dipper. Phoenix opens left wing. Waiting for fish. Poking the grass. Peeking the snake. Two. Three. Embracing the moon. Birds lodge in the forest. Black dragon swings his tail. Green dragon comes out of the water. Wind blows the lotus leaves. Lion shakes head. One, two. Tiger covers head. Uh, wild it. horse jumps the ravine. Uh, 
reigning in the stallion and trumpets dusting in the wind. One, two, three. Uh, pushing the canoe with the current. And uh, comet chases the moon. You watching? Okay, I'm gonna do it. do it again. Nancy will watch this this time. Get ready, Nancy. Three, two, one. Okay, prepare. Opening. Three rings around the moon. One, two, three, a dipper, swallow skin for water, block and sweep, right, left. Little dipper. Swallow returns to nest. Agile cat catches a mouse. Phoenix lifts head. Wasp enters the cave. Phoenix opens right wing. Little Dipper. Phoenix opens left wing. Waiting for fish. Poking the grass. One, two, three. Embracing the moon. Birds lodge in the forest. Black dragon. Green tail. Green dragon comes out of the water. Wind blows the lotus leaves. Uh, lion shakes head. One, two. Tiger covers head. Wild horse jumps the ravine. Raining in the stallion and compass. Dusting in the wind. Two. Three. Pushing the canoe with the current. Comet chases the moon. Hello, Kelly. Okay, uh, let's see. Have any questions? We, we, we'll review the the last couple movements. Anyway, anything before that? No? Okay. So um, let's see. Let me see you do it from, uh, from here. From com compass. Needle pointing south is the other name for it. Compass. All right. Dusting in the wind. Let me show you, highlight somebody, Nancy. Two.
3. Then pushing the canoe with the current. You still highlight me or what? I'll go to you and Kelly. And then Comet Chases the Moon. Okay. Um, uh, all right, so um, we'll do, do it again after, after the third. Oh, I want to say this about the dusting in the wind. Remember, right away, we want to get the tip up, okay, straight up and down. Then bring it, when it's past your side, behind your side, you're going to turn. Okay, so here's the straight direction. When it's past, behind the straight direction, then lift the handle and then to the corner, you know, your type of chop thing. Then here, keep the tip up and then go to the side, the straight direction. Then behind this, the left of the straight direction, then I can pick it up and let it fall. Okay, but till you get to the straight direction, I don't want you right away. I don't want you from here to start picking it up just to your shoulder. Okay, I want you to make a circle. The circle goes, the bottom of the circle and then up and when your hands coming up the tip can come down okay but do the bottom first like a line okay a straight part and then uh then up okay i guess it's not exactly a circle it's like a quarter of a circle maybe something like that okay so not not a straight line from this corner just to here all right so deflecting then come back and hit Okay, try that a little bit from the uh, from the uh, compass or just left and right and left and right, whichever you, you want to do, you could do on your own. Miranda, you don't have a um, castle? It fell apart, so I took it off. Uh -huh. Oh dear. Okay. Yeah. So I haven't tried to put it back together, and put it back on. But is it is it the little the little thing that holds it on? Is that does that open up? No, it th that's there. The tassel oh. itself came apart. Oh, okay. No, on um, like one of the ends, it untied, so it came the um the tassel part came off. Oh when yeah. When did you get your sword? Uh, not that long ago. Like. Uh -huh. You can Probably write time started the class. Yeah. So what you can do is write the um, uh, is there a, association. Is there a warranty? <laughs> and ask you know if you can get a replacement because it broke right away. Okay. Well, yeah. Sorry about that. Keyboard. See if you can put some energy into it. Okay, so Rita, Rita, I want you to put a little more energy. So like this, look here, and then maybe to the right is not as from the right is not as bad, but from here, look, and then see, shop, and then to the left, from the left step, look, shop. See how it look, shop with the with the body turning back and going to your bow stance. So you have a hat. Your habit is a little bit make it a little bit small so you bring it up but you're already, and i guess you step uh, but then before you chop then you like turn back and then do and do, and do it so then it takes away from the energy of the sword right because now it's only moving this from here so try to move it from back with yourself turned it's, it'll be back here see so twice is okay. twice of an arc twice as big an arc okay
Well, here. Yeah, I tell you, this is where our chopping pays off the one, two, three, and the tip up, you know, chopping tip up. So now you're glad you put in all, keep doing it though, 15 times a day. Don't, don't stop. Uh, Okay, so Kelly, when you chop, I want you, I want you to do it like this. Chop, that looks okay. But your tip up then needs to be like this. Down, that's right. So you go like, so together, like this. It ends up in the down position. So you're going to chop and then just tip, bring the tip up and your hand's not going down. Both, for both right and left. And when they're practicing, you can, you can get some like this. Nice. OK, that's better. <laughs> and, OK, all right. So that's good, Amanda. Uh, Miranda, that's good. All right, so everybody happy with this movement? You know, keep working on it, keep working on it. But it's a, so this is a little hard one. There's a few hard ones. This one, poking the grass, but uh, they're nice that they're set up that you go left and right, left and right, so you can practice it. Maybe that's why it's set up that way. So letting you know that you should practice it a lot. Okay, so uh, all right, then uh, we did uh, pushing the canoe with the current. So let me see, after the third one, let me see you do it. After the third one to the left, the left one, pushing the canoe with the current. Back and turn, 90 degrees. And then like the circle back, like from our practicing. Okay, then left hand, step and left hand goes down and left hand goes down and then close. Okay. All right, uh, all right. So let me uh, just go over it again, uh, just quickly. Um, you're like this. You're like this over here. Back and turn to the other corner, to the right corner. Step back, circle back, tip up. Then, and you're looking to the side. Then step and circle and lift up the handle and point the sword at an angle of 45 degrees. Then push it. It's pointed at the corner push it towards the corner and it stays at that angle. Okay. So don't let it hang down too much. Just 45 degrees and just translate it. Okay. Forward. Yeah, good. And then your, yeah, your, your uh, left wrist ends up in your elbow, crossing your elbow. Good. Kelly's good. Uh, good. Miranda's good. Okay, DV is good. Where's my gaze? Caesar's, Caesar's good. Uh, in the direction of, in the direction, the corner direction. All the time. I mean, when you circle it back, you need to look back, right? Then when you, then you look forward when you step out and you circle. Okay. Up, and then you keep keep looking forward. Okay. Okay. Uh, Rita, I miss Rita somehow. <laughs> so when you when you get like this, okay, here, here, get to this point. Okay, maybe bent a, a little bit more bent. You're kind of straight. So when it's straight, you you cannot push. So bend it, then feel push. Okay, there you go. See, then you can feel pushing. Your hands about yeah, face height or something. 
right? But if it's up, up too high, you can't really put, you can turn and move it, but you can't push. So with it bent, your elbow bent, like 90 degree bent, then you can push it out and straighten it, okay? Well, I didn't talk about this. Maybe I'll talk about this uh, for a second. You've been practicing now for a while. Uh, something I didn't know for a long time till we had, we, I ended up breaking something. This is 2000, I guess, 2004, I guess. When I broke my arm. And we, we had a demo uh, to do and I couldn't be, I went there, but I couldn't be in it. And I saw Fahom, uh, not sure Fahom, uh, doing, uh, doing it and uh, poking the grass. So the thing is, you go like this. Let's see, how do you get to there? Here, where do you get to it from? Yeah. Poking, Push, the grass. poking the grass? You mean from, from uh, uh, waiting for fish? From, yeah. Yeah, from this. Here, okay. You turn and stand, okay. Here, you bring it back and you stand up. Let's see, do I have the right hand? Foot? Okay, here. And it's pulled back and your arm's kind of open. Your elbow's open. Not totally straight, but it's open. Okay, straight. Then you step, right? And your left hand, and then from here, you want to you want to thrust it from the side. You should, I, I used to, I was doing it like this at the time. Just swinging my arm. Look, just swing. And that looks like something. Looks like you're doing something. But what you really should do is you should bend it a little bit when you start to go forward. And then extend it. So then it goes more in a straight line. Okay. It doesn't make an arc to get there. It doesn't come around like this. Okay. So from the right, I had that. I did. I had not learned that part. I forget who taught us how to do this part. Shelly. Shelly. No. So Shelly. Uh, nobody, nobody remembers Shelly. But uh, she was a, our senior student, one of our senior students at the time. And uh, when she would t fill in, she, she, her idea was more like, just do it, look at me, just do it like me. <laughs> it's like, if you had too many questions, like, I don't know, just do it, just do it like me. It doesn't really matter. That's what he said, I don't think it really matters. Uh, so, uh, so it should be like here, extended, and then bending it, and then extending it again, okay? So you can imagine if it were on a rail and you were sliding it, and you would need to do that, right? If you were holding on to it, and sliding it along this straight rail, you would need, when it comes closer to you, to bend your elbow and then extend it again. Okay, so that's how you get energy into it, okay? Uh, the storage of the energy is, is partially because you're turned and also bend your elbow as you're going into it. Bend it a little and then extend it again, okay? So it isn't just from here and just body turning. There's body turning and there's also some arm you could put into it, okay? So from the left, we don't have that issue, but from the right, it's easy to just do that. And I haven't noticed you guys, I just don't pay that much attention. That's not what you're doing, but uh, you're probably doing, okay. you probably already figured that out. So if it helps you, that's good. Uh, okay, so um, back to uh, uh, pushing the canoe. I think, I think we can go on to the next one. So um, uh, Comet Chase of the Moon. So let me see you do that. From pushing the canoe with the current, the comet chases the moon. Touch your, cross your uh, wrist at your elbow. Okay, back and turn. Point your toes straight. Bend your elbow. Okay, get smaller and step. And then chop. This chop is like we just were doing the saber. In the saber form, we were just doing this. From here, and you stand up and chop. You pull to the side and down and then chop, okay? So be careful, don't go up and down. That will make too much energy in the tassel. So don't, so go from here and go um, forward, okay? Forward and down and chop. And the left hand goes down, down and back up. Okay, down and back up, the down circle. And you end up pointing, actually pointing back. So this is one of the few times that we don't have 
our wrist bent a lot, like here, okay? It's straighter, okay? Both arms are kind of straight. And remember, you lean in this sort of direction, lean forward a little, okay? All right, go ahead. Okay. Do one move, one movement, Rita. Hmm. Rita, somehow yours is getting too high. So from here, look, it's my hand. Okay. So here, my hand is like, is like face high, say, or something like that. Okay. And back and turn, and it's still now. It's like it lowered a little bit. Low, so it's lower than a little lower than it was because I had to fold my elbow. My body is pointing about straight and I step and then, okay, yeah, straight, that's right. Don't, so it needs to, if you start too high, then you're going to put that circle in it. It needs to be like uh, face high, nose high, okay. Okay? then towards the corner, okay? Okay, I misunderstood it because I thought that you had a circle down and a circle up, and it doesn't. Well, you do. I mean, you do, especially you have the down one. And later we call it, uh, we do it again, we call it cartwheel. But the top is kind of flat. It's not too much of a circle. Okay. And if you do too okay. much of a circle, you, you put too much energy in the, in the tassel. Okay. That's better. I'm confused about the count. Uh, you know, when you move back and when your um, arms start to move because you've got two different arms circling at different rates and you're moving back and when, when does it all coordinate? Okay, so, so one is back and turn. Point your toes straight, keep the sword pointed at the corner your body points uh, straight now about and looking straight, I guess. Then you step, I guess, then you look to the corner. So that I, I was going to count. Hold on. Back and turn. Oops. Back and turn, I say, is one. Then two would just be stepping, I guess. Then three would be open, okay, and, and do it. So that's my other question then. Um, <laughs> Uh, are we bringing, are we bringing that foot to center? I was instinctively bringing it to center rather than just stepping out. Am I not doing it right? Back and turn. Yeah. The right foot now. Yeah. Your right my, foot. My right foot's coming back. in. Okay. Then you have to like, you're on the right leg, right? You have to shift back and step. You bring it in a little bit. Okay. Um, and the arms are not moving yet. Correct. Right. Yeah, for two, for stepping, you don't move your arms. Then on three, then you do the So arms. they both, both, they both the right and the left arms move simultaneously because I was just wondering if the, if the left arm moves first. On the chopping, uh, on the chopping yeah. from here on three, they both go together. Okay. That's probably right. what makes it a cartwheel, right? The top and the bottom go together. Okay. Okay, so Miranda? Yeah. So when I do this one, see it? My palm is facing out. Okay, back and turn, still palm facing out. I think you end up, you end up like, like this, okay? Palm facing down. Keep your palm facing out. The whole okay. Time. okay. Yes, that's good. That's good.
Okay, Dee Dee. This doesn't feel quite right on the timing. I'll have to work on it. Well, here you, here Nancy, watch Dee Dee do. We'll have Nancy watch you too. Oh, <laughs> all right. I don't know if I can do it separate. Oops. You okay. You no, she's not done yet. Oh. oh, okay. Feels like I am bending my knee too soon. And in order not to do that, it feels like my arm has to start swinging first. I have no idea why I feel that way, but I feel that way. Okay, so the first thing, the first thing is for pushing the canoe back and turn, then step back and circle and bring your foot in and don't slide your foot if you can help it. No, okay. Drag. Yeah, don't drag. Then uh, step out and rotate the sword around the center point. And then, okay, that's what you're missing, the left arm. So your left, you went like this, but you didn't do the left arm. Okay, so you need to go. Oh, I, uh, I had done it before. Yeah, I didn't do it then. You're right. I mean, I forgot. I, yeah, I would just go by the last thing. <laughs> then you close. Okay, then, okay, back and turn. Okay, and still on the right. Then look, back and step. Okay, so I'm on the right foot. Shift left, step. I'm still on the left. But see, step. You said yeah. you bring your foot in. You bring your foot in, but you not like you bring your foot in. So you bring your foot in something like this. It needs to go there, okay? You pick it up and put it over there without so here I'm on the right, left step, okay. Two, okay. Left step. Okay. Just pick it up and step. Don't, All right. don't bring it in and then step out. Okay. So hold it. Uh, so we're. You're right, I don't have that. So I'm here. Step in, left circle down, <laughs> then open, okay. I can't remember what I'm doing. Here. Yes, then close. Right? Good, yeah, Okay, right. I've just got Back to- and turn. Here. And then- Here. Step. And you just want me to not bring my foot in much. And okay. I just instinctively, cause I'm moving, it just comes in. But that's all right. I, here now, my issue is, I think it feels like I should start uncoming undone right here as I'm moving my weight forward. Yes. And at the moment of the chop, and I should get all the way probably down here. And at the moment of the chop is when I should be bending my knee. You're bending your knee the whole time. So when you're well, like this like this, chop. Got it. You, you go into your bow stance, you open both arms okay. all together. I didn't really mean bending on me, I meant uh, Dung Chung. Okay, I'll, I'll work on that, yeah. Okay. I, I'll work on that, because there's a lot here I don't have, thank you. Okay, all right, so anybody else have any questions on it? Okay, we'll go on then. Uh, all right, after this one is we call, uh, this is gonna be a, a movement we do again. So this uh, Kama Chase of the Moon and this next one we do twice, almost in a row, almost actually. But this one has a name, it's called Heavenly uh, Horse Flies Over the Waterfall. And uh, I actually, I sent out, uh, did I send it? I posted it on Facebook, uh, something that was in our journal about a lot of the terms that are in the sword form. And uh, that was for you guys so that I didn't have to go to take any more trouble than putting on Facebook. <laughs> so anyway, it talks about the hev heavenly horses uh, and stuff in there too. Yeah. That, that's so my blog by the way. Huh? That's blo that blog is mine. Oh I, yeah, I, oh I, really? You know, <laughs> I see so, I've seen a couple things like that and I saw somewhere else and so a different one somewhere else. They go, that's pretty interesting. Then I get to the end, it's like from the journal of the young, young family Tai Chi. It's like, damn, you know, it's easy to find on the internet other places than at our own website. And uh -huh. uh, when I was in charge, I tried to do something about that. 
but I'm not in charge anymore. So maybe probably because of that. Uh -huh. So uh, yes, I I I switch I switched I added using WordPress for the website back like in 2009 or something, so that we could put articles on the website because there's not a good way. I mean, you can make a page for every one, uh, you know, and that's a lot of a lot of work. And so, and since I was in charge, I decided to not do too much work. And uh, it was work to switch over and get half of it in WordPress and have a work, have a website with separate pages and have a WordPress blog. The next step would go to all WordPress, but we had, did not get there yet. Anyway, I said, okay, well, let's put the, uh, all the articles. Do you have the articles already that I can just start uploading them? No. It's like, well, can I, well, it'd be really good to be like that. It's like, why? It's already in the journal. Why do we need to do that? It's like, okay. But yes, when people wanted, were looking for stuff, they didn't find anything in our journals. So great stuff. Great stuff. Yeah, there's some really good, there's usually one good, really good thing. Uh, that's just somebody else's article. Maybe, I forget who's. Uh, Audi, I think, Audi Peel. But uh, Audi. Maybe, maybe Cesar, you should contact uh, uh, Pam, Pam Boyd. And mm -hmm. uh, and volunteer to upload all the articles to the website and, and become a <laughs> helper. I will say that that I put a lot of things on the website. In that web in that website, and then three ish years ago, when I was taken off being in charge, all the stuff I put on there was gone. Right, it became what it is now. So, if you don't mind that that's a possibility, then we can help them. Anyway, we put them in some place and put put them and maybe in a separate WordPress installation, like I did the uh, what do you call it? The discussion board. I pull out I used to be part of the website. I pull it out and put it somewhere else because we started going through iterating the website, and I didn't want to be broken and just turned up, you know, discarded. Actually, so I didn't want to lose it. So, all right. Well, anyway. Anyway, so stuff about the sword in there and heavenly horses in, in there, one of the things. That's the short, short story about it. All right, so from here, we do it like this. First, you go, it looks like this uh, here. You go forward and turn a little and step. You need to step, well, you're going to step and point your toe to the corner. Right now, your feet are pointed like 180 degrees apart. And you want to step from your right heel on a line uh, going straight, you want to step on the other side of that line. All right, so from here, I'll show it. First, I'll show it. From here, forward and turn, step, and then up, up to down. Okay, so it doesn't have to be too high, but from uh, like a waterfall, up to down, and you end up in empty stance, right? Empty stance on the ball. Okay. So I'll show it again. You go forward, turn, put your foot in about the same place. It's going to be the empty stance. Okay, point to the corner. Then going into your empty stance, raise the sword up, chop down, and be at like the knee, knee level in the center line. Okay. Your arms are kind of open like this at one point, something like this. And then up, and then the, the left hand, they both come up kind of like this, and then come meet together, okay, like this. Um, this, uh, this movement is uh, the uh, application is two things, two things actually. One is chopping, and it ends up looking more like a chop. And the other thing is, because it's attacking somebody's knee, is poking, okay? So if you got to like here and go and poke their knee with it, so. Uh, with the tip, put just pushing the tip just in to their knee, right? So just cutting their tip, their knee with it. So it, it's two things in one, and maybe you could think of it. A, you know, sometimes you can think chopping. Chopping is like chut, chut, you cut something in half, right? And uh, and then or poking would have a little bit of pushing. I think pushing forward in it. So you can. I would say do it like the chopping, <laughs> but you can think about the poking, maybe. Okay. They're both in there. So, okay. So the hard part of this one is the footwork. So let's let's work on the footwork. So we're going to go from both stance 
to empty stance, this direction. Okay, so from here, you shift forward, pick up your heel to your toe, turning to the left, and step with your heel. Now I turn, uh, my body is maybe this towards, uh, let's see, corner. My body is kind of straight. I'm going to step, my body's like to this corner now. I've turned about 45 degrees. Then I'm going to go into my, I'm going to shift to the left and land in an empty stance on the ball. Okay, so you have the feeling of, uh, the feeling of like being open, you're open, like closing a door kind of, a feeling of their whole right side comes forward. You're right, you're pointing at this corner over here, your body at the end, it points, you turn like 90 degrees. So this has got a big turn in it, okay? And at the same time, use the turning of your whole body to put energy into the sword, okay? So practice the focus. Um, how do you get how do you get the left foot to be 180 degrees? Just open so it. you're at mm -hmm. a bow stance. Yeah. Do you pick it up? Yes, you have to Can pick it up. Can you just swivel on the no. heel? No, you pick it up. So okay, here. so you pick it up. Here's my movable line. Okay, there's my heel. Okay, here's my bow stance. I'm gonna go forward. So actually, my heel is gonna is gonna step closer to the line than it is now. I'm gonna go forward and turn turn my palms both up. Okay, and step. Oops, step. I don't want to step on the thing. I'll fall over. Okay, so here, and then empty stance. Okay. Okay. So pick your foot up. You pick have up the heel and then you can swivel. Cassie, you say something? I was gonna say you have to open up your left quad. Well, you have to turn your hips and open up your left quad and so that your left foot can then point to the front left corner, Rita. I'm touching with, so, the, with the heel wait. first. Okay. So here. I can't we can't see your foot. Back up a little. Oh, sorry. Okay, so so if this is my bow stance, yeah, toward the corner, okay, then yeah. you're saying I should pick this up and then come across like this. Yeah, yeah, but, only because this more. is the line. Yeah, open here. it more though. But open it to the corner. Oh, point it at the corner. Yeah, you have to turn more. Point this one. Yeah, I yeah, have like to turn more. Oh, okay. So, so each, not lined up. each of this is 45 degrees. What? Yeah, they're not in a line. So each is 45 they're, degrees. They're both, that's right. They're both pointed to the corner. They're pointed okay, they're the both corner. pointed to the corner. And then my heels are on this one line. And then I go to empty stance here. Yes. That's pretty clear. Yeah. Okay. Here, this is a here. I, I give you. A, I have to work on my quad. I'll give you a Shelley impression. So we talk about Shelley. That's the way to do it. That's a she. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, Mike. I've completely forgotten what our hands are doing now. Oh, we I've just got the, the feet. We're doing the footwork first. Oh, okay. Great. Uh, does everybody have the footwork? That was really helpful. Your line. Because I had the line in a completely different place, so thank you. Oh well, you got green. You already got lines. I know. I didn't realize I had them, but now I do. Yeah. Thanks. Okay. <laughs> Are you doing okay, Moran? I can't see your feet. I'll have to take your word for it. Yeah. No, they're pretty good. All right. So yeah, that, this is the hard, the physically hard part. Is uh, but you know, do what you can do, and over time, you'll loosen up the qua and uh, be able to turn open both. You have to open both really, okay, to do it, not just one. Yeah. So you're turning forward and then turning. Now I'm opening, I'm opening my right one and then I turn and open my left one, okay, a step. And then just I have my heel and then I shift, you know, and go into the empty stance. And so 
just put, you know, while you're shifting, put your foot down. Just step and, and, and put your, keep your toe, you know, open as much as you can. And when you start moving, then put it to the corner. Okay. All right, so let's do the hands then. So the hands are uh, relatively then simple. The hands are simple. You do your footwork and then as you are moving, bring up the sword and then with moving your leg, now your, your body's turning and your hip is turning and your leg's moving, chop. Okay, and then uh, and yeah, just chop. So that's a little bit feeling like it's like this. It's kind of feeling a little bit like the dusting in the wind from here and a big, you know, a big shift. And so it's, it feels like the dusting in the wind to the right kind of with the chopping. And I have taught it before that it should be a waterfall. It should be higher, but I've looked at Master Young. It doesn't seem to be higher than any other chop. So maybe we'll just do that. It's a regular chopping, okay? But imagine the waterfall anyway. It goes low, okay? So imagine a waterfall. Okay, can you do it? <laughs> Again, this is another place where the, your, your one, two, three practice is gonna pay off with your chopping. That's good. Okay, so okay, so, I, so most of us know how to do it already. But from here, so you step, and then I want you to start to move. Pull the handle. Okay, and let the, let the sword stay pointing back. Pull, pull the handle, see, chop. Okay, so don't move, don't move the tip around. Just pull the handle and come up some and then down. Okay. We wanna minimize the moving the tip around usually. <laughs> Oh, that's good, Miranda. <laughs> and as you get better at, at this kind of thing, uh, I want you to feel, I think, uh, here, I want you to feel when you do it, when you do a, even in the dusting in the wind. I want you to feel really relaxed, okay? Relax, chop, okay? And that's when you grab it and now it's in a straight line. But when you're doing it, it's relaxed, okay? When you, from here, straight, kind of, kind of, I don't know, a little tense, I guess. And then you start to do it, relax and let everything kind of relax. Then feel this swinging it, swinging it up in a curve, and then, you know, so just relax and that will make the sword look, look nice. If you're too tight on it, then it moves, you know, you, the tip moves around a lot and it looks stiff, you like this. Okay, that, that is not the right energy. That's the one, two, three thing that we practice a lot, right? It's not, it's not like that, it needs to be loose, okay? Loose until the end, then you grab it, the DD. Uh, I think my uh, arm has to turn so that I yeah. can do that. When so when does that happen? When you go, first you go forward. When you start yeah. turning, turn your palms up. Okay, yeah, I was like, wait a minute. Okay, great, thanks. I knew there was something I wasn't doing. Yeah, so when you, when you turn your body, turn your palms up. And then
Like, I feel like I don't get the same sense of rooting in that, in my empty stance. Like, I almost feel like I'm just kind of gently pressing that right foot instead of really rooting on it. Is that? Oh, uh, let me see. Can you show it? I don't know if you can see my cup. Can you see my cup? I, I can see you. Okay. Nancy can see you too. Like here, I don't feel. Yeah. Maybe it's because my carpet's slidey. Do it, do it like again. Can you move back a little bit and do it again? <laughs> okay. That was better. That was better. But that's like here, that first one. I don't. I don't feel like when I'm in a white crane. Like I don't Honestly. feel. I feel that. I'm sitting on my back leg more. Uh, you should feel rooting as you uh, chop forward. Can you see here? Okay. Yep. So you have to touch the ground with your foot a little er before you chop. Yep. There. Thank you. Okay. Okay, we have time for one more then. It's an easy one. So especially if you've done, it's an easy one. Let's see. It's very similar to Little Dipper. This one is called lifting the curtain. So we do it like this. That's why we could do it because uh, now like half of them will be like repetition. So, or, or very similar to something else. Then we can really speed up. I tell you, so two a week, we do three a week. So from here, we make a big circle and we step. And again, you step one line, two sides. Okay, going to the straight direction over here. And then like Little Dipper is, only we stand up. <coughs> okay, so from here, can you, can you see it? Let's see. Let's see what direction I'm going this direction. Over here. Okay. Circle and coming down step. And then like little dipper, only little dipper would be to here. We're gonna go all the way up and stand up. Okay. Lifting the curtain. Show us again. Okay, so from here. Circle and coming down, step. Then lifting the curtain. Oops. So the footwork is eluding me. Could you bring out your little line again or something? I, I'm not sure what direction your step is in. I'll do it this direction. Uh, it's gonna be from my heel, my left heel, I'm gonna step one line, two sides this direction and circle, step, and it's gonna be pointed to the corner. So, you so know, it's very opposite. similar to what you just did, except yeah, the opposite, that yeah. And then stand up. But that's that's the that's what we have from um, for a little dipper too, right? So we're like this, our toe points, but it's not, yeah, our toe points this corner. And we circle and we step. We step along this line. Oh, they're not they're not 180 degrees though, right? That would be here. So so we we step in the toe point straight. Okay, so the footwork is a little bit easier for the little dipper. Okay, it's still distorted, so I'm having trouble seeing if it's when you say straight, which straight is it? Okay, so from here, from this straight direction, I'm gonna step this straight direction towards the camera. Circle and step. Yes, and you have to open. Can you see my toe pointing? Then shift and stand up. Yes, it's like the opposite of the of the over the uh, okay. Uh, I'm heavenly horse over the over the waterfall. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm just getting really confused. So I've come here. Okay. Um, or here. Put your put your left heel on the green line, 
the green line to the right, going to the right. This, okay. this is my left foot. Yes. Uh -huh. Okay. So now you're going to step to the, to the, to your right, one line, two sides. And With which foot? This foot? No, right you're going to foot. step to the right. Step to your turn and step to your, there you go. And open it to the corner if you can. No, not that line. The same line that your left foot is on. Like diagonal flying. Is your left heel on the line? It's, it's, it's literally on the line. Okay. Going off in this direction. Okay. So I'm, I'm just that's... trying to figure out where I'm supposed to end up. Like it, this is the line, I'm one line, two sides, this line right here. No, to the right. Going you're to your, from your right. left heel. Left heel. If this is okay, if you're looking at 12 o'clock, you're going to be going to three o'clock. With you're, my foot? When you're, yes, with your right foot. So if you're in an empty. All seat, I'm doing is that? Yes. No, no. Okay. Well, you need to step with your heel with your right foot going to the corner. Okay, you're, you're, oh, here's, a, here's a problem. Don't stay on the corner. Stand on the the, the, the light is going left and right. Move away from that corner. Okay. Don't step on a corner. All right. All right. So now you're let you're on, on this line that goes left and right. Right. Okay. Yes. Your toe points to the points to the corner. All right. Yes. Again, you're in an empty stance. Yes. Okay. Now step to the uh, one line, two sides on that off of that green line to the right. There Here. Yes. Here. Yes. But oh, toe pointing to the corner. Open more. Yes. Okay, I thought you said we weren't going that far. Okay, so we're just doing this. And I couldn't up. even figure out the direction I was and going. And standing up. Oh, here. Like, yes, that's right. Okay, I'm so sorry. Like, Thank you. Like, it's sort of like Big Dipper. Let's well, see, Big Dipper is uh, like this, right? So it's like Little Dipper, but bigger, okay? A bigger Little Dipper. Okay. Okay, you have it now. You have it. That's the footwork. I, I obviously need to shift my weight at some point, but yeah, I just show me once and I'll try to do it with you. Sorry. Go this direction, Michael. Facing you? Yeah, that's the direction. Okay. She's going. Circle and turn right and step, turn and point, point your toe to the corner though, but step in the straight direction, one line, two sides. No, to your to the right more, straight out from your left heel. If you want to take a look, I've got lines on the floor. Oh, she's got lines on the floor too. Oh, okay, well, okay, put it on, put it on uh, Kelly, Nancy. Let Kelly show it. Just okay. That's fine. Yes. All right, that's my problem. So I want, I'm, I'm stepping here, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. yes. Um, if someone would do it facing away from me, it would be a whole lot easier. <laughs> would it? <laughs> Just, okay. I'm sorry. I know I'm being uh, right, difficult. I'm Thank you. Circle, step, step to the right. Okay, toe open to the corner, but one line, two sides from your left heel. Then shift and stand up. Okay, thank you. That's just what I needed. I'm sorry. And when you stand up, the, try to feel your sword is kind of kind of flat and lifting. Okay, instead of instead of feeling cutting with the tip, you just kind of feel lifting, lifting up. You know when you go, uh, maybe you don't. When you go to a Japanese restaurant, sometimes they have like a curtain, uh, like to go in a, I don't know where, maybe all the doors, but the doorway, and they'll have like a split curtain. They'll have like a curtain, but it's split down the middle. And to go in, you you have to lift it to go to go through it. Okay, so that's the lifting the curtain. And it, uh, and the curtain only comes down like halfway or something. It doesn't come down the floor. It only comes down to here or something like that. Okay, so it's easy to lift. It's not heavy, and okay, so that's lifting the curtain. Okay, now I'm not clear on the on the arms. So just show me the arms again. Uh, okay, so one, so over here, one is circle up. 
Okay. Q is come down, the, the story comes down on the left. And step three is shift. And uh, if we're going to stop here and circle down. Okay. And then four is stand up and lift up. But Thank you. By, you get by one, two, three, one, two, have it. But I, I want you to, you should probably on three, on three, this is two stepping, three, shift and sort, get your sword down. Okay. And then for four, everything up. Uh, so, Dee, uh, it would be helpful. Use your, try to use your lines. And try to step one line, two sides going to that direction. You're stepping kind of wide, and that will make it harder to do it. Try to feel it stepping to the straight direction to the right. So I step not back, too my, far back. Not so far back here. Yeah, close to the line. That's right. Here. Okay. And then, and then as I move my weight, my my body swings, and yeah. then I finish the swing up. Yeah, that's it. All right. Okay. Yeah, be careful Thank not you. to be too wide. And the same going for um, uh, flying. Uh, Heavenly Steve flies over the waterfall. Is don't uh, don't make it wide. Okay, it's just harder. So one line, two sides going the straight direction should be should be e make it the easiest. Okay, so 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 this has similar fo the opposite footwork kind of all right from that other one. Sounds good to do them together probably. Is anybody oh, sorry, everybody's practicing the these two together? That's good. Keep practicing. Yeah, level. There you go. Good. Caesar's good. So, so Rita, can you do this? Uh, see if you can do this. So when you're like this, you're doing it like this. Circle, and then you're stepping something like here, like really close. So see if you can step here, okay? Make some progress to the right. And then shift and stand up. There's been a little bit more shifting in. But, you know, I think I think you can do that. Oh, okay, so I'm coming here. Yeah. And I'm stepping. Yeah, that's better. Okay. And then that's I'm coming stepping. up. Yeah. Yeah, okay. you're just too too short stepping. Okay. All right, running. All right, so let's put these uh, two together for, with the previous one. So from here, the third one, I'll do it one time. Back and turn, pushing the canoe with the current. Then Comet chases the moon. Then uh, Heavenly Steed flies over the waterfall. Then lifting the cur curtain. Okay, so you do it. From the third, dusting in the wind. Pushing the canoe with the current. Comet chases the moon.
Heavenly Steed flies over the waterfall. Lifting the curtain. Okay, all right, so uh, again, from, 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 uh, from here, going, I'm going to this corner, back and turn and put my toe straight. I go to the back corner, okay, 180 degree bend. I'm gonna go the straight direction now, okay, towards the camera, I'm gonna go straight. From this back corner to the straight direction. Step and empty stance. So Miranda, you went 180 degrees straighter towards me now. Okay. This is only 135 degree turn. From this back corner to the straight direction, straight. There you okay. go. Then circle and step to the to the right to the straight direction and stand up. Uh -uh. Peaceful. Go. Liam. Okay, again. All right, again. From uh here from here. Then back and turn, pushing the canoe with the current. Comet chases the moon from this corner. To the back corner. <clears throat> then uh, Heavenly Steed flies from the waterfall forward and turn, then up to down. Straight direction. Then I'm going to go to the right. Big circle and turn right and step one line, two sides along the line to the right, then stand up. Oh, okay. yeah. Okay, on your own then, do those. I won't call it. You just do those four in a row. Or the last two, if, if you think you have the other ones. We try to put them together in our body memory. Maybe I will call it. This is pushing the canoe with the current to the corner. Then comet chases the moon. Heavenly Steed flies over the waterfall. Lifting the curtain. Circle, step, to the, and flat. There you go, straight. All right, one more time. And after we're done, you can do it another 10 times. Ready? All right. Back and turn, pushing the canoe with the current. Comet chases the moon. Back and turn, point your left toe straight, straight direction, and step to the corner. Then Heavenly Steve flies over the waterfall. Then lifting the curtain. Okay, great. Okay, well, good. Hope you learned something today. Something that you take with you in the future. Okay. All right, so practice that and, uh, and we'll come back. Uh, let's see, how far along are we now, Nancy? Do you know? Two thirds of the way now? Probably. Yeah, we, we're making progress. Don't worry. We'll get to the end. All right. All right. So thanks. Thanks for coming and, and working out. And, uh, and have a, a nice uh, rest of your weekend and good week. We'll see you next week. Happy Mother's Day. Oh, that's right. Mother's Day. <laughs> Happy Mother's Day. <laughs> thanks, everybody. Thank all you. Right, thank, you. Happy Mother's Bye. thank you. Great class. Thank you for all your understanding and help. Oh, no problem. Bye, Susan.
Ouais. 